Hello everyone and welcome to another Patreon episode. As you guys know, this is the episode where you guys can show your attacks on my channel. And the first attack that we're going to see is going to be by Epic from Violent Avenger. If you want more details about the Patreon episode and how you can participate in those as well, just read the description under the video and you're going to get all the details about it. So this is going to be a mass Valkyrie attack and he's going to use a huge amount of Valkyries against this max defense Town Hall 9. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite attacks. I use it a lot in farming and also in war. I mean, I did not war for a while, been on a vacation, was a bit busy and this is basically the reason why I didn't make a lot of videos lately as well. But hopefully I'm going to find more time to make more videos in the next couple of days, months, whatever and bring new contents for you guys so if you like any of the clans that are showing on this video I'm, I'm sure that they're gonna be glad having you guys so if you want to join them you're definitely welcome so on this one he's using the traditional mass valkyrie attack healing them wherever needed and they're gonna wreck this base for three star a couple of valkyries are going outside the base and there are lava pops over there but those wizards are gonna shut them down notice those four wizards running after the lava pops and the lava pops are, are running after the valkyries so pretty funny on this attack but he's able to get the three stars so you can see that the golems are alive some people are saying that you don't need golem for this kind of attack but I think that you should bring at least one golem to this kind of attack because at the end you will notice for the ones who are already using this attack you will notice that the golem is shielding for the heroes usually for the queen while she keeps doing damage if you're not gonna bring golems you're gonna burn down your valkyries and your heroes and wizards in the beginning when you're entering the base and this is pretty bad so i usually use two golems in mass valkyrie attack because you can take you can spread them a bit wider with one golem you can take very small area to be defended and this 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 is what i do but you can try using one golem as well i think it should work it, it really depends on the base especially if you do that in war you already know what's the base that you're going to attack and it makes things a bit easier if you can get one golem to defend your valks in the beginning when they're entering the base then use one golem and a bit more valks but if not if you need a bit wider area to make the funnel you should use two golems even if they're staying alive at the end of the battle but you're gonna get the three stars so it doesn't really matter so the second attack that you're seeing over here is by nuts from rolling oats and this is a Govaho attack and this is again one of the most reliable attacks in the game still I think that the Valks even though they were nerfed and changed in the in the latest updates I think that they're still one of the most reliable especially for fresh attacks and I know that in my clan they're they're being used a lot so the next one is definitely a funny one it's gonna be a zap quick attack with Laloon but Notice that he forgot bringing an earthquake spell and instead brought an accidental poison spell. So usually when you're gonna do such a mistake against a very good base, you might fail the attack. So make sure that you're not doing such kind of, of mistake. Make sure that you're checking your spell. You have that chance before clicking on attack. You can see everything that you have cooked. So make sure that you don't run your attack with the wrong troops with the wrong clan castle troops with the wrong spells and stuff like that it can definitely be devastating to your attack on this one he was able to get the three star so it is pretty good so let me know in the comments guys what do you think about the new updates the the new update is already up and it includes new times for cooking for all of the troops golems are out in 15 minutes i think that the valks are taking something like five minutes everything is now much faster and you you can build armies that it took a long time to create in much shorter time now for example my mass valkyrie attack takes something like 40 minutes to cook and it was much more than one hour before that so that basically means that you can cook 
a lot more armies and a lot more time expensive armies in a shorter time and you can get much more loot in shorter time as well so this is definitely a good thing for the game and especially for the hardcore farmers or the guys that don't have much time waiting for war it's gonna help you spend less gems I mean many of you probably faced the situation where you're in war and something happens to your base that you want to attack or you gotta attack a different base to help your clan win the war and you gotta cook some different army than you, than what you already have just just throw away your army and there's no time for that war the war is about to end and you're basically using gems to boost or just jam the whole army so now you can make it much easier if you have enough time it's gonna be much shorter to cook that army and you're you're not gonna have to spend those gems so I'm not really sure how many gems Supercell are going to lose over that but you will see that if they're gonna lose too many gems they're probably gonna bring back the times for the cooking I mean it's gonna be pretty hard to do that again I think that the people are gonna protest against that but we're gonna see what happens in the future so the next attack that we're seeing right now is by RHYO from Chilean Elite and he's gonna do a go wipe attack and this this attack is pretty reliable it's 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 kind of funny that go wipe is said that it's not a three star attack but you can definitely get three stars with this attack especially against lower level bases with town hall 8 defenses against lower town hall 9s and it is definitely a good attack to start with in town hall 9 you can definitely get three stars with it against max defenses bases as well and i already showed that in the video so in the video so many times so definitely can be a three star strategy they're they're basically more reliable strategies i think that the valks are much more reliable than pekas but if you don't have max valks and your pekas are maxed from town hall 8 you can definitely try using go wipe attacks and you will be able to three star some of the bases so the next attack is gonna be by captain from summer never came and this is definitely another reminder if you want to join us you can join our feeder clan cw bootcamp i think that there are details about that in the description as well if you want to know a bit more details you can ask in the comments and i'm gonna let you know so captain crunch is one of my patrons as well and he got the leadership of our sister clan summer never came and doing a pretty good job over there the clan is very successful winning most of the wars i think that they lost something like two times since the clan was founded and this is definitely a good statistic so as i said you're welcome to join us and you're welcome to join any of the clans that you've seen in this video so he's doing a valkyrie attack he's a town hall 11 he got two accounts in the clan one is town hall 10 a bit rushed but that's okay and one is a town hall 11 and on this one he's gonna do an attack over a town hall 10 it's not a max base but again as i said i want to show all of you guys not everyone are super are making super amazing attacks and sometimes it takes a lot of effort to three star even town hall 11 against a town hall 10 it, it actually takes a lot of effort to three star such a base i actually tried that myself i've got an account that i can play on a bit and i tried three starring town hall 10s as a town hall 11 i mean i'm not used to it I was always forgetting that I have another hero, the Warden, and this is definitely something that takes time to get used to, but I'm telling you guys, it is tough. I was attacking pretty weak bases in farming, and it was tough. I probably failed something like 75% of the attack and did get a couple of 3 stars. I think that with a bit of practice, I would get more 3 stars, but... It is definitely something that is tough and I know that you guys the town hall 10s and the town hall 11s and especially if you're a bit rushed especially if you didn't upgrade your heroes I know that you guys are struggling so this episode is definitely another good another good show that you can three star bases even if it's not a max base even if it's not having max defenses max walls or whatever 
you can definitely three star such bases and this is a good way to show it so on this one as you can see the attack was done very nicely he got rid of two air defenses the queen and an air sweeper with the kill squad and now he has only two air defenses and the air sweeper is pointing to another direction and this way he gets an easy overkill over this base even if the base would be maxed it would get the three stars as well so hopefully you like this episode if you want to join patreon as well check the description under the video we'll see each other in the next video bye bye